They seem like unbelievable tall tales told around the campfire, but these guys say they have seen the signs. The fur was clean and shiny. It was a brownish red. And they've heard the sounds. They're very intelligent. They, they are the masters of the forest, uh, the rulers of the night. <laughs> They'll do that. But have you ever heard the tale of the Mogollon Monster, Arizona's very own Bigfoot creature wandering the wilderness of the Tonto National Forest? I had a girlfriend look like that once. <laughs> <laughs> All kidding aside, we spoke with the locals in and around Globe who not only believe such a creature could exist. Well, they call it an ape. Some say they've seen him. I have passed it off as being a bear, but I don't know. It was uh, black or very dark and it was trailing some horses. It's stories like these that keep Mitch Waite and Alex Hearn coming back to these mountains about two hours northeast of the valley in search of the mighty Sasquatch. Their Bigfoot research trailer is much more conspicuous than the monster itself though, who avoids detection almost without fail. But these Bigfoot believers have had their own encounters. Mitch claims that the monster attacked his campsite. As soon as we grabbed for the pistol and cocked the pistol, it backed off, the tent popped up, and you know, uh, scared the, the Jesus out of us. <laughs> Alex has spent a lifetime searching for Bigfoot after a close call when he was just 12 years old in the woods of New Hampshire. Not long ago, he saw a similar mystery beast near this campsite along Rose Creek. And the creature was not straggly and dirty. It was well-groomed. It looked like either another creature or something or someone was, was grooming it. You honestly believe this was some sort of a Sasquatch creature? Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it seemed very human-like. So no logical explanation of a bear or another wild animal will satisfy these amateur explorers. But isn't Bigfoot more at home up in the Pacific Northwest and that skunk ape you may have heard about settled in the dense marshland of the southeast than here in the hot desert? Our research team pointed out that this ecosystem is the perfect candidate for such a creature, with countless plants and trees to provide cover and food, and water sources only found up here in the high country. Maybe this landscape could be Bigfoot's lair. This is probably the first bedding or nesting location that we found in our research. Alex and Mitch led us to what they call the hot zone for Bigfoot activity, and it was here that they found all the proof they'll ever need for the biped's existence. A 19-inch footprint cast in plaster to preserve the evidence, and a number of curious structures made with tree branches and pine needles. So why is it so hard to spot this Mogollon monster? or any so-called Sasquatch for that matter, where's the proof? By the time I get it in reverse and get back, he had already started running down that direction. I didn't have the camera ready at that time. I, I carry three, four cameras with me of all, at all times, and I didn't have a camera with me at that point, that one second. And so it goes with the creatures of the occult. Nothing concrete for the scientific community, but plenty of circumstantial evidence to pique curiosity like this night vision shot of a shadowy figure entering the left side of the frame there and raiding the ice chest. Or this dark image hidden between the trees. Could this be the face of an ape-like animal in Arizona? The research team's strategically placed game cameras capture a lot of shots of just that, game, elk, who may have seen something just before they were left in this lifeless state. Boy, if these bones could talk. I think basically... Uh... The serious Bigfoot researcher will eventually win out with enough data to get the scientific community interested. How do you convince people that you guys are legitimately looking for something you believe to be absolutely concrete and real? I don't really try because um, I don't feel that anybody that has that strong of doubts is going to believe me no matter what I say. With dozens of documented accounts over the last several years, it could be just a matter of time before this Mogollon monster moves from make-believe or mysterious to mainstream. I think there's something to it. I think there is such a, such a creature out there. I, I really do. In the Sierra Ancha Wilderness, I'm Dan Spindle, Fox 10 News. Get MyFoxPhoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.